Cambodia. This week, we're going on an epic world schooling adventure. Education has never been so fun. Going, going, back, back. We are going, going, back, back, a full-time traveling family. We've been traveling since our kids were teeny tiny, but as they get older, they are looking for more consistent friendships, like those made at World Schooling Hubs. What's a World School Hub? Stick around and find out. Welcome to River Villa, Siem Reap, Cambodia. For the next week, this guest house will be the center of a World School Pop-Up Hub. World School Pop-Up Hubs have been running for a couple of years now, and there's been several dozen of them. So many of these families have known each other that whole time. But even though we've been traveling full time for almost five years, this is our very first hub. Meaning this is as new to us as it is to most of you watching. So wish us luck. World schooling is a concept of educating your children through travel. It's bringing textbooks to life by going to the real places and meeting the real people. Going, going back, back. And by its very nature, it's quite transient. Many world schoolers find themselves loving the lifestyle, but lacking the community, which is what inspired the relatively new concept of a world school hub. There are all different kinds of world schooling hubs with different lengths, different structures, and different prices. The structure of the world school pop-up hub appealed to us because it felt like a week-long play date that someone else coordinated. At our first World Hub pop-up. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, we're basically having a meet and greet slash barbecue. So, one thing to know when you're a traveling family is, uh, as you talk to anybody, it's tough to build relationships with other families if you're constantly on the go. So, this is a chance for families to connect. And if your kids vibe a little bit, then you might even make a lifelong friend. You never know. Welcome to World School Papa Pub. We are in Siem Reap. We have, I think, 22 families with us. Those 22 families, including parents, grandparents, and kids, totaled around 100 people and represented at least 10 different countries. I know I explained this is a massive play date, but we're world schoolers, so there was definitely a cultural component to everything we did. And on this first night, that included a traditional Apsara dance performance. So, so nice. enjoyed being able to see these beautiful dances in such a relaxed environment. The Rowam Tep Apsara is one of the national symbols of Cambodia, so quite a fitting start to our Cambodian adventure. The 
first stop of day two was to the Royal Gardens in the center of Siem Reap to check out the giant bats. These clever creatures have figured out that in the Royal Gardens they can't be hunted, so they congregate here in huge numbers. As we walked to the shrine that was our next stop, we were greeted by vendors selling flowers, incense, and caged birds. Someone said that they then recaptured over and over again, so I'm not sure about the ethics of this, but it felt good to see them fly free. We're gonna free the birds as vegans when she's gonna do it. And I'm gonna film it. Woo! <laughs> on to the shrine, which is most famous for two statues that are believed to have come from Uncle Wat. It's said that Buddhist monks hid these statues in various locations over many years before they were eventually settled here in this shrine. Hub is here live at Pray on J, Pray on John, and we're coming for, I guess, to look at traditional ceremonies, walk around, give some offerings. But this is a royal garden, and this is really cool. Pray on J, Pray on John. It was a back in a tuk tuk and on to a popo to meet the hero rats. A hero rat, you ask? Yes, a hero rat. A whole bunch of them. A popo is an international humanitarian organization that trains African giant pouch rats to detect landmines. These rats might be giant, but they're too light to set off a landmine, making them long lived little heroes. Enter Oppo. The tickets are ten dollars each, and now we're gonna go in and watch these rats save people, one landmine at a time. Going, going, back, back. And then they're gonna come out and give you these cool tickets, which you have to give back. You have to give these baggies. They're cool. Well, look, they're like plastic. Well, sauce, rats with rats. Go to the object. No food. Only when the rat tight the tie. Click. Food. Yes, it works well. Next time when you put them on the ground, they go straight to find the TNT.
part of the Apopo tour is watching one of these hero rats in action. What makes these hero rats so fantastic for this job is that they can search an area the size of a tennis court in 30 minutes. That same area takes a human with a metal detector up to four days. As well as their highly developed sense of smell, these hero rats are really intelligent and easily transferable between trainers. The rats are socialized from just a few weeks old, so you're even allowed to hold them. It is hot out here. It is so hot. Let's go check out these rats. All right, this rat is actually from Tanzania and Magawa was one of the most popular rats. more about the rats while at a popo there's a media room it's air conditioned and if you want to know more at home check out the youtube channel we'll put a link below because this group was so huge there were a couple of activities where we had to split up and on day three, we joined a small group at rollerblading. Hey, we're about to go rollerblade. I gotta tell you something I could do. I could be running or I'm chasing you. But I won't. Cause I got better, better things to do. So I have no idea how to rollerblade. So I will not be rollerblading today. I don't know the first thing about it. It does, definitely has to do with balance. We got this kid over here. Look at this guy behind me. Looking like a little... Uh, Looking like a little hockey star. I wonder where he's from. He's probably from Canada or something. But I have no idea how to rollerblade. But we're here, and this is our hub activity today. Rollerblading. Going, going, back, back.
It is extremely hot in here right now also. Again, we're in Cambodia, rollerblading. It's shaded, but it's still hot. It's April 2nd right now, and the heat wave is on. Going, going, back, back. I spent my precious time chasing somebody who loves me too. If I got a dollar for every time you slam the door, I would be the richest girl alive, alive, alive. If you hadn't run away, every time I asked you stay, you would sleep right next to me tonight. No, you didn't know me, all you wanted was a game to play. Cambodia in April is hot, so hot, crazy hot. It was almost 40 degrees Celsius every day of the hub. That's 104 Fahrenheit. So the itinerary called for a couple of hours of downtime, which we used to head home and reset. But as the afternoon cooled into evening, we were on to the next activity of the day, go-karts. The network of paths in this little section along the Siem Reap River is home to dozens of these little children's cars, bikes, scooters, fire trucks, <laughs> anything your kids might want to drive. And they had a blast with only a few minor injuries. We are the concerned parents. We don't know what the hell's going on here. There's no helmets. We're in Cambodia. We're really trying to make this happen. But all of us right now are on edge because we're waiting for, waiting for the first act. Anything can happen. We're protected. We've been blessed. Yeah. Blessed. But I still fear for the safety of everyone. Going, going, back, back. excursion took us about an hour outside of Siem Reap and our awesome hosts Christy and Sock organized air-conditioned buses to take us there. Alright, today the hub is going to go on their first excursion and we have this really dope air-conditioned bus. Hub life, baby. Going, going, back, back. Yes, Alright, so we have made it to the river. I'll let you know what this river is called in a minute because I don't actually know the name of the river. But we've made it. So we're all huddling down here, getting ready to 
get on a boat and go do something on the river. I'll add the name of the river later because I don't know the name of the river. But uh, this is our world hubbing activity for the day. Going, going, back, back. Right here, how many hubs have you been to? Uh, ten. Ten hubs. Tarimakase. it out hub life here and here we go so we uh came here and now we're taking a boat this is a long tail boat bong chu boat this is a bong chu boat so we're taking this bong chu boat across to meet up with everybody else apparently i thought you can walk on the pier here and i thought if you walked on the pier then you can dive in a little bit and swim across but you cannot dive in and swim across it is a long swim and i didn't want to get my backpack anyway Bang Chu! Going, going, back, back. Alright, so the family is already behind us. Oh! World Hub gamers over here. They're like, we don't splash in the water, we play games. Game life. This place never dries up during the hot season, during any season. This always has water here. And the local community here farms, and most of the crops that they farm are the produce that's actually sold in CM Reap. So again, this is the bomb sugar. Thank you very much. We just 
finished up our excursion on... Put in the title later. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Now we're headed home. I think it's about, I don't know, 37 degrees. Yeah? Does that feel right? All right, about 28, something like that. But it's hot as hell. But we're headed back right now. Here we go. Going, going, back, back. All right, we just finished up our trip. We're headed home. Another day at the hub. Hopping back on the bus now. Air conditioned. I don't know what bus I'm on. I didn't see anybody, but I wasn't looking for people. Going, going, back, back. All right, we're going to make sugar bombs. Here we go. I don't know what a sugar bomb is, but we're going to make one. Wait, that's a correction, ladies and gentlemen. Sugar palm. We're not going to make sugar bombs. We're going to make sugar palm. The palm sugar tree is Cambodia's national tree. And the sap harvested from its fruit creates a caramel flavor similar to brown cane sugar. And this area outside of Siem Reap is famous for its palm sugar. The sap is turned to palm sugar in these massive pots, boiling away until it becomes solid. I keep it on it, they crunching the numbers, I'm yeah, I'm out. Young hitter got a fetish for success if I ain't next and I just leave him pressure. Next to brain, only window no pain, put the plain Jane, let him second guess it. Oh, yeah, a contran. Yeah. <laughs> it's sugar, folks. Oh, look, the top, I have, I know, look, I know. I know what to eat it. What is it, Cricket? Sugar. Sugar. Well, I'm Lady Ben, the Sims, Scrimmage, don't play games with me. I bully these hits like I play tennis, I drift this. Back at River Villa, we let the kids jump in the pool to burn off some of that sugar energy. Another awesome day at the World School Pop-Up Hub in CM Reap, in the bag. So it's 5.30 a.m. and we are here at Anchor Wat and we're here to see the sunrise. Going, going, back, back. All right, we're live here at Anchor Wat. It's about 5.48 in the morning and we're going to catch the sunset. So come on with us, let's go. Pop-Up Hub 2024, going, going, back, back. Where are we? 
of the many cool things about this World Schooling Hub was that one of our hosts, Sock, is an official tour guide. Check out the uniform. It was great to be shown around by someone who really knew what they were talking about. Kids under 12 couldn't go up, so my wife is hanging down there with the kids. So I get to do all the hard work. Cardio for the day. Going, going, back, back. Definitely awesome. Like I said, the wife had to stay down with the kids because they're under 12, but this place is really cool. It reminds me a lot of Egypt and some of the temples in Sri Lanka. So check out those videos. Yeah, it's really cool. I've always wanted to come here. The next stop after sunrise, breakfast. And then it was on to Tafram Temple. Famed for its massive tree roots and is the set of Tomb Raider. This temple complex is much bigger than it appears when you first enter and it does not disappoint. But on the day we visited, it was swelteringly hot. So it was hard to take it all in. Next time we go, we're getting there at 7.30 when it opens. This tree belongs to Angelina Jolie, right here. This is Angelina Jolie's tree. All right, so behind me is the actual tree that was in Tomb Raider. And it stars a famous actress who I would have married if I hadn't met my wife, Angelina Jolie. Going, going, back, back. Later that same day, we somehow managed to get ourselves out of the house again to join the rest of the hub at mini golf. Appropriately themed around the temples of Angkor.
right, so after this morning's trip to Anchor Wat, it seems like a lot of people are tired, but some people went on the trip the day before, so our group went today. But we're still just a little bit tired. Again, getting up at five in the morning. I went home, made lunch, had a nap, got back up, you know, little nap. Got back up, came here, and it is blistering hot. I'm gonna be honest, I think it's about 103 degrees right now. And it's already, it's, it's, and it's four o'clock. Day six started with more fun and more sun, this time at the water park. Tired as I was, this place was actually great. It's compact, it's inexpensive. And the kids loved it. If you ever find yourself in Siem Reap with a couple of hours to spare, this might be the perfect place to unwind. All right, so we're here at this water park. This is really cool. So it's got a little splash pad for the kids, little ones behind me. It's got some big slides over here for your older kids. Cabanas everywhere, stay shaded, little food spot, drinks and everything. This place is really cool. It reminds me of Legoland Malaysia. on another adventure, this time to see CCM Reap's famed floating village. Our group has a private boat and a private itinerary. But first, back on the bus. All right, so we have made it here to the John Canet River Village. And you can see behind me, everybody getting ready to jump on the boat. They just threw the drone up in there. So we're gonna be on a drone shot right now. So this is the John Canet River Village at Ton Le Sop Lake. So we're gonna go check this out and see what it's about. So River Village is really cool. This is definitely a part of Cambodian culture, the River Village. And this is going to be, uh, I think a really cool experience for the kids. Going, going, back, back.
is um, brown from number one and number two. So our boat has got stuck in the middle of this lake. This gentleman who I thought was anchoring it in for us is actually trying to get it out of the uh, mud and whatever. So this is like Titanic basically, except hot and uh, no Leonardo DiCaprio. Cappy, we miss you. And this time the water is warm, so both warm. of you can survive. Yes, yeah. we will survive, yes. Kate Winslet. Throwing Jack under the water like that. I told the run! I can't run! Throwing right back! Oh! Woo! Pop-up hub Siem Reap ended as it began by the pool at River Villa. All right, after an action-packed week, the hub is finally coming to a close. Uh, it's a bitter, sweet ending. The kids have built some friendships. The adults have built some friendships, and hopefully, we'll see some of these people as we continue to travel around the world. So, this is it. Let's go party, hub life. Last day. Similar as this night looked to the first one, it felt really different. A week ago, we were introducing ourselves to a crowd of strangers. Tonight, we're having to say goodbye to some great new friends. This style of hub felt just right for our family. We had a week of action and adventure and of connecting with like-minded people. And now our family can catch up on some rest and lean into our regular slow travel lifestyle. If you're interested in knowing more about World School Pop-Up Hubs, we'll leave the link in the description below. And if you ever make it to Siem Reap, get in touch with Christy and Sock. They can show you everything you need to know and a bunch of awesome places you didn't know you needed to know.